Temperatures in the 50s out there. The cooler air mass continuing to seep into the area, although the cloud coverage going to kind of hold temperatures a little bit steady tonight. They are going to drop a little bit more, but uh, most of us are going to stay out in the 40s tonight. You notice 56 in Winfield, 55 one of the cooler spots there in Gina, 58 the airport, near 60 still in Oakdale. So we have a little bit of cloud coverage still out there, mostly cloudy skies. And notice the cloud coverage starting to build in a little bit, and uh, especially at the low levels. And so we're going to continue mostly cloudy skies through tomorrow morning, maybe a little bit of sunshine there in the afternoon hours, but uh, clouds until then. You notice a little bit warmer to the south and west of us. That south wind does return out in that direction, and that's going to be heading our direction tomorrow. So tomorrow afternoon, we're going to see a warm front come through from the southwest, and that's going to allow those temperatures to rise well into the 70s. A few locations may even hit 80 before Saturday is said and done. Of course, that's out ahead of our next storm system. This right here is the storm system that's going to give us some uh, rain and storms as we head on to your late Saturday night and your early Sunday. And um, a little bit of severe weather will be a possibility, but not a guarantee. So take a look at the upper levels. You know, it's a little bit of upper level ridging here as we head into tomorrow. That's going to keep us dry tomorrow. Maybe a little bit of sunshine for the afternoon hours. Going to warm those temperatures up as well. This storm system over here is going to send down, down that cooler air. And on the leading edge of that, the cold front and the scattered showers and storms for your Sunday morning as a result. As we head into your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, some more ridging comes at us from the west and that starts to clear things out. Although we're going to keep temperatures pretty cool regardless, but it will eventually get warmer as we head into Thursday of next week out ahead of another storm system, which will impact us Friday next week. Threat level one out of five across our northeastern and maybe even our central areas and um, not much, but that be basically just means an outside chance, just a very minimal chance to seeing a stray severe storm embedded within that line that rolls through. Although you go out just to the east and it's going to be a little bit more predominant in that direction. They're going to see a threat level two out of five. So as far as we're concerned, we're going to keep things dry tonight. Cloud conditions, cloudy conditions continue to thicken and increase tomorrow. Maybe a little bit of sunshine peeking through for the afternoon hours. Like I said, some locations may very well hit the low 80s, but I think most of us, especially in the northern areas, will be in the upper 70s as we head on to your Sunday morning morning and notice that scattered activity starts to roll in from the north and our northeastern areas will see the best chance at seeing that rain and thunderstorm activity and notice the cooler air already starting to filter in there for your Sunday morning and so those afternoon temperatures are going to be much like what we saw today which a little bit milder in the morning temperature wise and then we're going to see cooler conditions for the afternoon hours on Sunday 40 percent chance of activity here in the metro up to a 60 percent for Jonesville and Natchez 50 percent for uh, Winfield and Gina down to a 30 percent for our western and southern areas. Most of us less than a quarter inch of rainfall, but someone could see up to one inch. And of course, our northeastern areas would be the best chances at you seeing that one inch mark of uh, rainfall. Temperatures in the 70s by noon, that'll be when the warm front's coming in. And so those temperatures are going to be uh, in the upper 70s for the high, about 70 for the high there on Sunday. Once again, cooler in the afternoon hours. And then we're going to be in the 60s on Monday, even upper 50s there on Tuesday. And if you look, Tuesday and Wednesday morning, we'll be starting things off in the upper 30s. Not cold enough for any frost or anything, but it is going to be a little bit chilly out there. You'll notice dry conditions through Thursday, a little bit warmer Thursday, but then our next storm system comes in Friday late next week. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Barrett.